Hi, my name is Kat, and today I have this look for you. It's kind of a warmish purple smoky eye. I feel like what I've been doing lately has either been like kind of crazy or just plain and neutral, so this is kind of a nice balance. There's no lashes, but there is glitter and, you know, a good amount of highlight, and, you know, I feel like it's kind of a little different for me. So, hopefully you enjoy the look and enjoy the video, and I'll see you soon. Um, so I already did my foundation. I was planning on doing my foundation on camera, but I tried to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus, and then I put it on and I looked like a ghost, so I had to use something else, but it's fine. Um, and today I thought I would use the Morphe 35F, which is interesting because I feel like for a second I was saying a lot of hype about it, but now, I mean, I know that it was supposed to be a more fall palette, but still, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. This is it. I think it's pretty, and I want to use some of the purples. Um, there aren't that many, but they're really warm-toned purples, which is not normally my thing. I'm going to take this shade and use that as my transition. So now I'm going to go in with a more precise crease brush, and I'm going to pick up this one. If you're not familiar with this particular Morphe palette, it's the one where everything is shimmery except the bottom row. I'm just going to take my finger and that more reddish shade. take that shade and spread my brush. And I want this to be winged, so I'm going to take that darker purple from the beginning. I'm building my way up. Okay, I'm gonna take this e.l.f. flat eyeliner brush and the same deeper purple and I'm gonna stamp it on my lower lash line to connect with my wing. Now I'm gonna mix that with my more red color. This little brush my dark purple again now I'm gonna take my flat brush and the black in the palette this one and pick up some of that and press it into my lower lash line. I'm also going to do this on the top. I'm just going to go into my transition shape one more time, and blend through the crease, and the wing. I'm going to take this Urban Decay, I think this is called the Ammo Palette, it doesn't say that anywhere on it, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, and um, this shade Last Call, just on my finger. Just to add something interesting, I'm going to take the ColourPop 
Hello Kitty Glitter Sheer in Juicy Apple. And I'm just gonna take some of my finger and put that on my entire lid. And I was trying to decide if I should put on some glitter. I think I am. This is from the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art, the little duos. And I'm just gonna paint some on. I'm not sure how I feel about this eye look, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild contouring palette. This one is Caramel Toffee, the more warm toned one. So warm. I mean, I knew it's warm, but... Now I'm going to take NYC Sunny and just bronze a little bit. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Rosé Champagne blush, like this. For my highlight, I'm going to try out the NYX Illuminator in the shade Ritualistic, which looks like this. I think this is the one that people were saying was a dupe for NARS Albatross, which is a throwback. very subtle so I'm gonna try and wet my brush and see if that does anything for me and then I'm just gonna take a small flat brush and do my inner corners with that so I'm just gonna take the Urban Decay palette again and grab Polyester Bride And I'm actually going to grab my ColourPop shadow one more time. I'm going to go do my brows off camera. Okay, so I'm back with my brows on. I'm going to highlight under the brow. Okay, I'm going to do mascara then lips. Right now I'm just curling my lashes. I'm going to use this Ulta Amped Lashes Mascara. I've been using it kind of off and on. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I remember it being dry, but just now when I'm using it, it feels gloppy. I don't like the way it looks. And I'm going to do my lips. I'm going to try my Beige Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in Nude. Okay, and now I'm going to take the Beach Cosmetics Cream Lux Lipstick in Forever Nude. That's what this looks like. I usually don't do nudes like this one. You've probably noticed by now that I like mauve nudes. I meant to put in some contacts. I think I'm gonna do that and come back. Okay, so I'm back. I put my contacts in and some jewelry on. And I think I want more blush and more highlight. I'm gonna take Autumn Peach from Essence, which is one of my favorite blushes ever. And put on some of that. I'm gonna take the Ulta Illuminator in the shade Brilliant Diamond, which is white. I probably used this in like a string of videos and then stopped wearing it, but I do like it a lot. Let me know what you think. So leave a comment if you want. I have so many ideas for videos, I just need to start cracking them out. I know um, I just hit 50 subscribers the other day, and I also want to say thank you to all the love on my Rose Quartz video. 
I have to thank Inez, who's Bed Party Makeover on Tumblr and Instagram. Shout out to her for reblogging the video on Tumblr because it got more views and more thumbs up. I think that's the most thumbs up a video of mine has gotten. So thank you because I just posted it this week. So <laughs> um, thank you to her and thank you to everyone who watched it and liked it. Um, so yeah, here's today's look and I hope you enjoyed the video. So yeah, that's it. And if I look like a clown, I look like a clown, but I love blush.